Now that I have long nails, I've just been doing like to everything. <laughs> you know, like the ASMR where they like they unbox and they tap. <laughs> That's me now. That's my life now. This is Daring Run's 60% that you can flip. And it's called Flip 6P. And it looks like you can make it either HHKP or WinKey layout as well. I got the black colorway. So it looks like the blockers are removable. Detachable badge. Neat. This is the case. In terms of colors, it looks like there are seven colors. You have Anno Black, which is the one I got. E Retro White. Anno Burgundy, Anno Dark Gold, Anno Purple, Spray Coated Black, and Spray Coated Orange. Whoa. So PCB, you have Wired Hot Swap or Tri Mode Hot Swap. So I have the Tri Mode. But yeah, so you can flip this. And then with the removable badges, you can either make it HHKV or when keyless if you would like. Here you have the Flip 6P keyboard. This is a 60% with a numpad, and you can actually flip this, so it's reversible. Inside, you can see the internal weight. You can also see the magnetic connector. Looks like it does still use some form of ribbon, but this looks like the battery cover in case you do decide to do the tri mode. You do have this nice accent piece in the middle of the seam. Looks like a brass. And then here's the back. So, oh my god, <laughs> the fingerprints have begun. So you have this little small weight that also acts as the USB port. You have the little branding right here, Dr. Works Design. You have the four adhesive feet, so you can see the back weight translates into the USB port. On the back, you can see the screws. There's going to be four on top and four on bottom. So you do have two unscrew it in order to take it apart there is no anchor point on the top case or the mid piece to kind of help you align you just kind of have to like do it yourself so you have the two pogo pin connectors right there these are for the mounting points it uses pcb gasket mount or sandwich mount here is your mid piece so this one they have actually installed little gaskets right here so if you look at these on the bottom case and then this with the mid piece that's kind of what helps align that this one it does have alignments because it does poke out but it's like very subtle so here's the internal weight here's the magnetic connector again and it looks like it does go to some kind of ribbon this is just like an internal cover but here you see the battery packs so it looks like you don't need to do anything here necessarily all the daughter boards are actually found in this channel with the bottom weight it looks like the weight is held to the bottom by four screws right here and then the battery wires are connected through this big daughter board and it's actually connected through a ribbon cable to the main so the main usb is connected to the two batteries and then there's a separate daughter board with the pogo pin connector and i'm guessing this is for the main keyboard okay so it looks like with this so if you do pcb gasket mount it is a separate middle frame split plate but when you use sandwich mount the whole mount plate is both the middle frame and the plate if you want to do sandwich mount, it will be a full plate that you have to pick left or right hand side. But if you do PCB mount, it uses two plates and then you can flip it accordingly. So here's what the PCB looks like. This is a tri mode, no flux cuts. So it's interesting because here you can see the pogo pins and they're on like a separate tab. So I think with this one, you do definitely have to like be careful because it looks like it could break off. Here you can see the PCB gasket tabs. So you have the three on the top and then you have the four on the bottom. And then for these, they've actually added indicators on these keys. So this would be what, the control keys? There's actually lights right here. So here is for the top case, pogo connectors, and then here you can see the bottom one. So it only comes in hot swap, but you can do step to regular caps. You can split the left shift. You can split the right shift. Looks like you can do split backspace as well. And then looks like it has ISO support. But this PCB is a one PCB fits all. So it only comes in hot swap and you have a choice of wired or tri mode. So for the numpad, you get two PCBs depending on which one you want to do. So if you want to do like a southpaw, 
or if you want to do a normal paw, you have that option. Instead of putting it all on one PCB, they've actually separated it. And then with the connectors of the PCB being up top, you can actually pick. So for example, if you want to have the PCB on the right hand side, but you want it to be south paw, you could do that. Or if you wanted your numpad to be south paw, but you want it to be a regular layout, you could do that. That's kind of cool. So here's how it works. If you decide to flip it, you also need to move this down here. So that's how they've done that. Whenever I first opened it, I thought maybe you had to flip this. But actually what you do is if you decide to flip it, you would have to unscrew these two and move it up here. So in terms of flipping it, it is relatively easy because it just uses pogo pin. But if you want to flip it, you have to take the case apart and then you would have to remove these two screws and put it down here. If you decide to do the sandwich mount, you have to buy a separate plate because it is one piece. So this one, you would have to buy a left or right hand. But if you decide to do the PCB gasket, you have separate plates. Okay, so here I have the FR4 plate. Pretty standard, no flex cuts, easy peasy. And then it looks like the same thing for the numpad. If you're deciding to use a PCB gasket though, the numpad should just be reversible. So you can just like, oop, flip it, oop, flip it. <laughs> As for the sandwich mount plate, this one also looks like it has no flex cuts. You got this nice branding right here flip 6p so it does have the cutouts for the pogo pins the numpad is set unfortunately hope you guys are listening to my explanation because i'm not gonna say it again <laughs> i'm just kidding i was playing wow today with my nails and i was like i was talking to my girl i was like hey do you guys want to hear a first word problem and bird freaking said no <laughs> and i was like well i don't care i'm telling you guys anyways but I just got fake nails and they're hard to play with. <laughs> but I'm currently the only female on the raid team, so I bet they were just like, ugh, females, disgusting.
Okay. All right. Let's talk about the board. This is the Flip 6P. This is Daring Run's upcoming keyboard. This is their second one. The first one they had was the DR70. This is a 60%. Whenever you pick the color, depending on the color you pick, it will change the accent piece. So the neat thing about this board is that you can flip this top piece. They've also incorporated a new thing. They've added removable blockers. So essentially, instead of having to buy like a win key and a win key top, all you'd have to do is buy the blockers. So you can either have it as win key, win keyless, or HHKB. You can see how it's not seamless. You can see the seam. This blocker is actually screwed onto the top case to make this into the HHKB layout. And this is an optional thing that you can get. If you make it HHKB, this becomes your LED indicator right here. You have three 1.5 blockers. So you can either get the blink, you can get the lights, or you can get a logo one. So theoretically, you could get two of these light blockers and they would both light up. It's just depending on what you want. But if you don't like HHKB, you can buy the 1U that comes as a pair. So the 1.5s you have to buy individually, but the 1U blockers will come as a pair. So then those would just screw on like right here and then you can like put your keys. So you could technically do something cursed. So you could do like half win keyless, half win key, or you could do half HHKB if you want. But aside from changing the layout of your main board, you can also flip the numpad. If you get anal black or the white keyboard, you'll get this alu gold middle part. All the other colors, it will be black. So you can see the seam is seen across all sides of the board. So it looks like default is PCB gasket and the plates are split and you can get PC, FR4, or Alu. However, if you want to do sandwich mount, those are a separate purchase and those are set. Those are one plate. They're not split plates like the PCB gaskets. So you have three layouts. You have just like the regular numpad, you have the southpaw mirrored, or you have like the southpaw normal. And then those only come in alu, but they come in two colors. So you can either get it in black, which will give you the black accent seam, or you can get it in gold, which will give you the gold accent seam. You'll see here that the seam piece is actually like a separate piece when it comes to the PCB gasket. But when it comes to the sandwich one, it's actually just the entire plate itself. Here you can see like the different screw points. So if you were to screw it right here, that's the 1.5 blocker. And then if you were to screw it in here, these are the 1U blocker. And so this is where it gets interesting. So here you can see like this is southpaw, right? But then if you flip it here, so this would be normal but then you would have to move these down below. So you can see that the screw points are mirrored on the top and bottom. This part is different though, because all your pogo pins are gonna be found up top of the case. But it's pretty neat because with the PCB gasket, these are friction fitted in. When you're assembling this, these are the dumbbell gaskets and the top and bottom are a bit different. Here's what it looks like. You see how this part is like a nipple? This goes down on the bottom case. And then if you see this top one, which has this cut right here, this goes up. And the reason I think they put this cut is so that whenever it, it compresses, it has room to expand. But here on the bottom case, you can see there are the little triangle grooves and these are for the gaskets. And then if you see these like, rectangular these are for the pogo pins for where they would rust as you can see right there it's gonna be in stock it starts at 149 it uses pogo pins now so you don't have to worry about finagling the ribbon cables i'd say the only thing that might bother some people is that the blockers you can see the seams which might be distracting for some also interesting they put the led indicator on this hhkb block if you do wing keyless then you don't have an indicator they didn't put like the indicators on the wing key blocks. You know how you might see like a little bit of light bleed? They've actually given you this additional diffuser to prevent it from bleeding through the sides. You can kind of see it's bleeding through, right? So they give you two diffusers, right? They give you this one, and then you can actually put this one like underneath it to prevent it from bleeding through right here. Whoa, where's the light bleed? It's gone because we put 
diffuser. <laughs> I wish they had stronger anchor points to help you align it, but that's just like a quality of life thing. In terms of sound, I ended up liking the PC plate with foam the most. But in terms of like typing feel, I actually enjoyed the FR4 PCB mount. If you're looking for something really stiff, then I would recommend the sandwich. But if you like something softer, then I would just stick with PCB mount. I think if I were to buy this, I would definitely get a set of the 1U and the 1.5U blockers. Just so like you can change it. I do like the idea of these removable badges. And you can also do like different colors of them if you want. If that's like your jam. I mean, 149, holy. <laughs> I feel like these boards are just getting better and cheaper and more affordable. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, that's the board. Thank you Divinity and Daring Run for sending it out to me. I like it.